Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have interesting news and today's news has to do with Unity 3D. Now the guys at Unity Technology, they have gone ahead to make available the key digital asset character that was used in making the heretic short film that was all done in Unity. Now this was a cutting edge animation as it seemed to have featured some very interesting facial animation system. Now, for anyone who has actually seen this, it is a technical milestone in displaying the photorealism that you can now achieve in Unity. This was first previewed at GDC 2019, and you know, it was later on released earlier this year. I think sometime in January this year, this was released. This project itself, which was the heretic animation, was made in order to develop certain key technologies to display how much photorealism you can get in Unity Game Engine. So in case you want to work with realistic, you know, digital human characters, they are actually pushing that towards a good trend so that you can get some very cool competition alongside Unreal. Although this demo itself was created in Unity 2019.3, but however, it was shipped this year. So in case you have Unity 2019.3, you can actually go through and start making something like this. And when this was first teased at GDC, this actually made a lot of people ask a couple of questions. What is the future holding for Unity Game Engine? You know, what and what will Unity turn out to be? Would it be the next Unreal Engine? And to an extent, yes, Unity has continued development on various level and also, you know, they've gone ahead to make very good strides in recent months. Following the release of Unity 2019.3 and also the 2020.1, which is, you know, presently in beta, a lot of features seems to be coming to Unity. Now, most of these features are, you know, targeted towards performance reliability, creative workflow, and also scalable quality. Because if you take a look at several of them, you would notice that most of them have been under research and development for a while, and some of them are now fully implemented directly in Unity. Now, when you take a look at some of these things, they include, you know, the shader graph, the 2D tools, the visual effects graph, and also the HDRP that is currently out of preview and production ready. So more likely than ever, developers of both either hyper casual game or AAA games will be having a swell time while they work in Unity. Now, when you look at the statement that was released alongside with this digital asset, you will see that Unity seems to be leaning towards the Unreal Game Engine mode of content sharing, as they've actually went ahead to say that we develop a technology to enable this. And while a lot of work remains to be done in the future, we are sharing what we have today so that you can look into the current state of our effort and possibly, you know, you can actually see how much stuff you can make using this tool by yourself. Although this isn't the first time that, you know, production ready asset has been issued out by Unity, but this show sure seems to be one of the most photorealistic ones that you can get. So owing to the fact that, you know, previously when they made Adam, they kind of released the asset and that was pretty cool. And at the same time, they've also made the Book of the Dead and all of these things were just attempts that they were working on just to see how much photorealism they can get. And for those who are wondering what are the neat features coming over to Unity, there are quite a number of these things. As you can take a look at the blog here, which I'm going to put links in the description for anyone who wants to actually get started by looking at these things. And some of the, you know, what he wants which i kind of like is the profiling system so something that is very similar to what we have in unreal right now will be coming or you know is presently in unity the alembic vertex cache this is actually something i like and i know it's going to save a lot of time for creators and those who would be doing animation and trying to export their data from their dcc apps over to unreal now the camera stacking is also something very beautiful that i seem to love and i do know that a lot of persons would want to see how this one actually works so now this in itself gives you some sort of effect which has to do with you being able to work with a 3d model in a 2d ui so this effect is definitely going to change how certain hyper casual games would look and there is also a very cool improvement that has to do with 2d physics and then there is also improvements that has to do with particles. Now, these are not just the only improvements as I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can also notice that there is a streaming virtual texturing that is also going to be there. And for the most part, you would also have some very cool times having, you know, some big light. There is also the Russian roulette, which is also a brand new method that will be coming 
over what that is actually in unity 2020.1 current beta that you can work with this is one of those features that would definitely save you baking time but when you get to think about unreal 5 coming out and there seems to be no need for you to bake uh, it makes you begin to wonder if this technology is you know overnight beginning to look very very still now if you want to see my thoughts about unreal engine 5 i'm going to put links in the description where you can check that out so with that said we're going to just dive directly back into you know the unity asset store to take a look at what we have in the box so the very first thing which you would notice is there is a facial animation system and this reminds me so much of what you can get with the snapper guys so this really looks cool and with those widgets you can actually control the animation and despite that you can also notice that there's a 4d click rendering with timeline animation uh, one of the interesting things if you take a look at the demo once more you would see how these objects react to light this is really insane i mean real time light really looks good i like this stuff and with that if you also look down you'll notice that there's a skin attachment system there's a shader and rendering feature that is also attached to this now one of the very interesting things here is there's a custom you know marker driven occlusion for both the eye and the teeth so if you're playing with the shaders you would be able to actually you know manipulate these learn how to implement this in your own you know uh, 3d model there is also a very interesting custom pass for cross material normal buffer blur and this is for the tier line so you get to notice that directly underneath the eyes and there is also a full shader graph for both the skin, the eye, the teeth, the hair, as seen directly in the demo that they've actually showed off. So if you want to also get this same thing and you don't want to go over to the asset store to get this, you can go over to GitHub and directly in GitHub, there's a cloned version that you can proceed to get. Now, if you also want to get this asset, you need to make sure that you have Unity 2019.3 point one two which is point twelve build or anything higher and uh the file size simply comes at a very good cost at 1.3 gigabyte of file so very interesting things that you can see here now before we actually go it's worth saying that unity has actually been in the news for a couple of time now so last time or you know last two months we did see the purchase of automatics and automatics is a very interesting material engine and i had the chance to play with this too and i think we did share this on the channel so i'm going to put links in the description to where we shared this so in case you want to get your hands on it you have to actually request from the guys at automatics you know the engineers working or the developers working alongside on real technologies right now since they've purchased this you would need to request for that before you can get it if you go over to the links you may not be able to purchase this as they don't have any button download or even make a purchase so you have to ask them for these things before you can get it now with that there it is also worth knowing that if you're also working with cinema there is now a sign you know a uh, plugin that you can now use so you can now ship stuff directly from cinema over to unity so very easily you can transfer data you can transfer files and this is a very good stuff and for those working with cinema if you want to also take a look at what is new in cinema there is a video in the description that would guide you to that so very interesting stuff and it's really cool to you know do a couple of catch-ups with all of the cool updates coming with unity and for those who wants to also get some free assets directly in unity if you go over to the unity store there are tons and tons of free stuff and you might just want to start with the very standard assets and also the tearing tools that exist in the unity store and this is just a very quick catch up with the amazing things that has been going on with unity for a while now and just in case you're thinking about using unity for your film games or maybe you just want to use it for your visualization unity is actually up to speed with a whole lot of things and there is tons of performance improvement that is now coming to this tool so whether you're thinking about migrating or live linking or maybe you want to make use of you know the dots or the polymorphic you know uh serialization or if you're considering 
what the update looks like within the editor because there's a huge improvement to that right now you can simply get started with this tool and if you definitely want to get started of course you can go get unity for free and you can start playing with that and if you want to you know purchase unity you can also go ahead and make a cool purchase for unity uh, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section for those who haven't seen the unreal video there is a link in the description where i shared my thoughts about the whole thing about the unreal engine 5 so you might just want to simply take a look at that and at the same time i would like to know what you think or what your thoughts are about the unreal engine 5 and with all of these cool updates coming from unity tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update pre-friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.